Good morning. We're going to make a banana bread this morning, and I'm going to be using a cookbook that's one of my favorites. It's Cooking Down East with Marjorie Standish, and she is a main author. This is a great book, and what I like about her book is almost all her recipes um, are staples that you would have in your home, in your pantry, in your cupboard. So let's get started. I am doubling the recipe. So if it looks like large quantities, that's the reason, but I'm gonna read you the recipe first. A quarter cup of shortening, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, two eggs, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of soda, three bananas, creamed, beaten and creamy. Cream the shortening and salt and sugar gradually. Add eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. Sift flour, measure, sift together with soda. Mash bana bananas with a fork, beat until light. Add alternately with sifted dry ingredients to the egg mixture. And there is no nuts in this recipe, but I am going to add them. Then you turn them into a greased loaf pan and bake for one hour at 350. Everybody's ovens is different, so I would just check the your, um, your bread as you go. So let's get started. Here is my shortening. I like to use um, Crisco, but that's my choice. That's what I like. I doubled the recipe. So this is a half. And um, we're going to take the salt, which is right here. I have two, two, two teaspoons of that because I've doubled. And the sugar. We're going to add the sugar gradually, and I have two cups here. And they say we're going to beat this all together. I'm using my little mixer today. Okay, then it says we want to add the eggs one at a time. Should have four eggs in here, but the old chickens, I've only got three. I've been baking crazy, so here we go. These are farm fresh eggs, which makes a difference, I think, anyway. Nothing wrong with store bought. I've bought and store bought for many years. I'm going to add another one. Here we go. You will notice I had my eggs in a, in a bowl, and I have a reason for that because you never know farm fresh eggs what you may find. So that's why I do that. Now we're going to do the flour and the baking soda, which is the flour is here. There's three cups of that and two teaspoons of the baking soda. It's going to mix that like that. And I didn't notice, I, I just noticed I didn't get all the salt out, so I'll just put that in now because it's really humid here today and everything's just sticking and it's really not a good bake day, but every day is a good bake day for me. I love to bake. 
I love to bake and I love to cook. I cook very frugal and very simple. Same with my baking. I do the same thing. Okay, so we are going to... Um, it says, sift the flour and measure and together so to mash the bananas with a fork, beat until lightly, alternative for the dry ingredients. We're going to put some of the flour in and some of the banana. Right here is six bananas. We're just going to alternate that. Here we go. Put a little bit more in. Oh, I gotta put a little more in. The batter's working up nicely. Put a little more in. Yeah. Then we'll just have a little bit of left. Looks great. The batter is beautiful. Let's put the end of the bananas in here. Just like that. Looks good. Smells good too. There, everything, whoops. Wow. Everything's mixed well. Get it all over the place. Should have put an apron on this morning, but I was multitasking and oh well. It is what it is. So here's the beautiful batter right here. And it really is nice. Now I'm going to put some walnuts in. And then I'm going to top some off on the top of it as well. That's because we like walnuts here. And if I have company and serve, serve um, the banana bread, I'll just tell folks there's walnuts in them because a lot of people either don't like them or can't eat them. So, there. Now I have a bowl. I have my pan here that I'm going to use because I doubled the pan. This pan is bigger. I'm going to fill it halfway with batter. Look how nice that is. Very nice. Just like that. Not going to overload the pan. Maybe just a little dab more. And I have another pan like this that I'm going to fill up. But I won't bore you folks with that. I'll just show you this and top, show you the top. And then I'll stick it in the oven at 350 for an hour. Take my walnuts here. And just kind of top it just like this. And there you have it. And be some yummy eats. So don't go too far. We'll be right back. <laughs> 